Hello friends. We're going to start an important discussion today. We're going to be talking about belief. I know that some of you who will see this are younger. Kindergarten, first grade, second grade. Others are a little older. Actually, I'm going to be talking to the youth about belief as well. And because right now I'll talk to you as households as much as I get to talk to you as age groups, I hope that I'll be talking with parents and guardians and grandparents about belief as well. I want to talk about three beliefs to start out with. We believe that God is good, that God made the world, and that God makes the world to be a good place. And those are not just beliefs that we start with. They are beliefs that keep guiding us through right through life. To start with, some of us, especially when we're young, are taught these beliefs. We believe that God is good, that God made the world, and that God makes the world to be a good place because someone told us that these are the things that we should believe. And that's good. That's the way that we learn. That's the way that we become the people that we're meant to be. The people who tell us what we should believe are usually family, um, teachers at church or at school. Now for others, we started to think about how this world makes sense or how this world doesn't make sense on our own or at least more on our, on our own than we have before. We believe because of what we're told and because of the way that we observe the world working. Uh, for others, especially those who have growing responsibilities, maybe to take care of others or to teach others, we believe because we need to know how to live and how to act. We need to know how to understand and adjust the way we feel. We need to know why we get out of bed in the morning. Sometimes we begin talking about belief with thoughts about how beautiful and complex the world is. That's a good place to start, but I want us to start somewhere else this time. I want to start out with a story. It's not a true story, but it could be. Then I want to ask some questions. So I'll be checking in with your household because I want to know what you think about the story. I want to know how you answer these questions. So here we go. Mark was a small boy, even for a first grader. Tommy was a big boy, even for a fourth grader. On Tuesday, Mark brought his favorite lunch to school. It was cold macaroni and cheese. Tommy also brought his favorite lunch. It was a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. When they sat down in the lunchroom, Tommy decided that today he would like to have Mark's macaroni and cheese. So he walked over to Mark's table and took it. Mark was upset, but he couldn't stop Tommy from taking it. He tried, but he was too small. Because Mark tried to stop Tommy from taking his lunch, Tommy got angry with Mark and he hit him. Mark went home hungry with a bruise on his face. Tommy laughed the whole way home. He thought the whole thing was pretty funny. So what should happen? What should happen to Mark? What should happen to Tommy? What should happen to the lunchroom and to the school? Why should these things happen? Is there someone who says that we should? Is this just how things are? Does life work better because we all act this way? Answer the question, what is there that means that treating someone else with kindness and respect is the right thing to do? Who says that one way of acting is better than another way? Is it even possible that there's someone who says that feeling a certain way is the right or wrong way of feeling? What I mean here is like, is it right to feel upset that Mark wasn't treated well? Is it right to feel upset with Tommy that he treated Mark so badly? Here's a little bit different question. What keeps me from being the bully or you? What keeps us from acting the way that Tommy acted in the story? So try to think about each of these. If there's one that seems especially important to think about in your household, you can spend extra time talking about that one. If the question seems too hard, let me know and we can talk about that one together. I'm excited for this time and the talks that we'll have. I hope we'll talk soon.